Hey there, fellow rebels. Are you ready for the epic conclusion to the Hunger Games series? Join me as we dive into the world of Paynim and follow Katniss Everdeen's journey to become the Mockingjay. I'm Gail Hawthorne, and this is the Bookie's Voice. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay is the final installment in the Hunger Games series, written by Suzanne Collins. It is a thrilling and engaging story that will keep your viewers on the edge of their seats until the very end. The story picks up after the events of the previous book, Catching Fire. Katniss Everdeen, the protagonist of the story, has just been rescued from the arena of the Quarter Quell by the rebels of District 13. District 13, which was believed to have been destroyed by the capital during the Dark Days, is now revealed to be alive and thriving underground. The rebels want Katniss to be the symbol of their revolution against the capital. They want her to become the Mockingjay, a symbol of hope and rebellion for the people of Paynham. Katniss initially refuses, still traumatized by her experiences in the arena, but eventually agrees to take on the role. The rebels begin a propaganda campaign, using Katniss as the face of their revolution. They film her visiting the districts, meeting with the people and inspiring them to fight back against the capital. The capital responds with their own propaganda, featuring their own version of the Mockingjay, Peter Melark, who is being held captive by the capital. Katniss is torn between her loyalty to her friends and her desire to protect them. She struggles with her feelings for Peta, who has been brainwashed by the capital to hate her. She also worries about her family and friends back in District 12, who are in danger of being punished by the capital for her actions. As the rebellion gains momentum, the capital becomes more ruthless in their efforts to crush it. They bomb District 13, killing many civilians and destroying their supplies. Katniss is horrified by the destruction and becomes more determined than ever to bring down the capital. Katniss, along with a team of rebels, including her friends Gale, Finnick, and Cressida, set out on a mission to infiltrate the capital and assassinate President Snow. Along the way, they face numerous obstacles, including traps and attacks from the capital's forces. Katniss is captured by the capital and taken to President Snow's mansion. There, she is reunited with Peta who has been tortured and brainwashed by the capital. Peta attacks Katniss, but she is eventually able to bring him back to reality and they escape together. The rebels launch their final assault on the capital, with Katniss leading the charge. They face fierce resistance from the capital's forces, including genetically engineered creatures called mutts. In the chaos, many rebels and capital soldiers are killed. Katniss finally confronts President Snow and kills him, but not before realizing that it was actually President Coyne, the leader of the rebels, who orchestrated the bombing of District 13 and the deaths of many innocent civilians. In the end, Katniss is hailed as a hero for her role in bringing down the capital, but she is left traumatized by the violence and loss she has experienced. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed our journey through the Hunger Games, Mockingjay. Thank you for your continued support and for joining me on this thrilling adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bookie's Voice for more amazing book content. As the Hunger Games series comes to an end, stay tuned for the most interesting book series yet to come. Until next time, keep reading.